do not envy yes do not envy <laughs> hello wonderful people welcome back to my channel it is your girl ganavi aku how are you doing yes how are you doing i hope that by the grace and mercies of god you are doing fine yes i'm also doing very fine we thank god so it is another brand new video today i hope you stick and stay with me till the end okay let's get right into the video so today's video it's like a short message for all of us and i've titled this message do not envy yes do not envy <laughs> it's an interesting one and it's uh it's one that it's it's one that we easily we easily can we, all of us here you watching me and even myself we easily fall victim we can easily fall victim of enviness why do i say this listen to me so i'm saying do not envy do not envy your brother because enviness is a form of sin you seeing someone acquiring something and then you yearn for it without knowing the process the person had to go through you just see it it's nice and you want it no that is not a good thing that is a bad thing and it is from the devil yes you can you can yearn for it in a good way in a sense that uh, at that point that becomes your motivation let's say i'm not going to talk about okay let's say material things you see someone has gone to buy a fancy bag that let's look i'm going i'm going to i'm going to dissect it into how you can use envy positively and then negatively so let's start with the negative one you see someone have you see a friend or a colleague of yours having a fancy bag then immediately you get angry why because you think that you should be the one having the bag instead of your friend that is a bad sign that is a bad sign it is no good now let's look at it in a positive way you see your friend with this fancy bag you have always admired you always wanted to have and then you say to yourself if i work hard i can also get that bag if i work hard if i save i can work i can uh, purchase that bag in that way you have used that you have you you have set that thing as like a goal you have set that as a goal instead of instead of making it affect you negatively you are you have rather used it and you are telling yourself that you are going to work hard and then get that back in that way it's a positive manner but whereby you get angry you get frustrated that it becomes like jealousy there's a there's a difference but there's just a thin line between jealousy and envy there's, some say they are the same some say but what i'm here to tell you today is that if you think if you see someone has acquired something someone is, is uh, has purchased something and is making you uncomfortable let that un let that uncomf uncomfortability move you to also work hard and even get better of what you think that friend has gotten yes many a times we find ourselves out of enviness we, we go and do what we are not supposed to do just because you are envious you also want uh, you want to please people why do you, like why do you want to please people then at the end of the day you end up crying in your heart you go to bed weeping these people you want to please they and they may they, they may just look at you for a second or a minute and then that is it they also have their life to live so that is why i'm saying don't envy anyone you may see someone wearing a very pretty shoe a very nice you know you don't know you don't know what's inside the shoe perhaps that shoe is very tight but the person is enduring what about that I thank God for wisdom each and every day. I pray that you watching me. I know that you are wise, but I pray that you watching this video now. God would also give you that wisdom to know when and where to spend your money. And you spend it wisely, all to the glory of God. Yes, you spend your money wisely. I pray that God gives us all wisdom, heavenly wisdom. 
in all our ways because this life is this life you need god's wisdom otherwise you will later on regret it in life and you'll be pointing accusing fingers meanwhile when you were growing up all opportunities were given to you but because you lack the divine wisdom that is why it says when you are praying to god ask for wisdom why do you think in Solomon in the Bible asks for wisdom? Because once you have wisdom, you apply it to all areas of your life and everything falls in place for you. So once you pray, in any time you pray, pray to God for wisdom. What is riches without wisdom? What is riches without wisdom? What is you having the you have everything at your disposal and you don't have wisdom? You are going to spend everything just recklessly but once you have the wisdom of god you apply that wisdom of god in each and every stage of your life you will see that things will begin to fall in place for you so my brother my sister this message is a very short one it's a very short one just to tell you that we should we shouldn't envy it's not a good thing because you don't know what ama had to go through you don't know what ama had to go through to get to where she is now you understand me so whatever situation you find yourself in now just trust the process just be focused be determined do what you have to do at the moment while you pray to god and you're still waiting for your miracle my prayer is that just do what you have to do you are not stagnant you are not what you what you what you were yesterday you have moved a day forward okay so this is just uh my little message for you today i hope it inspires you okay if so even if even if you don't have, even if you have not taken anything from this message just go home with this that instead of envying someone instead of envying someone rather use it as a pedestal rather use it as a course let that thing be a goal for you so it will push you to work harder to achieve that dream okay because the millionaire or the billionaire you see today didn't just wake up and become a billionaire he had to start from somewhere okay he had to start from somewhere so thank you all this is just a very very short video i hope you i hope you took a thing or two from this video god bless you stay safe wherever you are covid is still out there don't forget to wear your mask i've got my mask here don't forget to wear your marks. Be safe. Keep on praying. Do not forget the God factor. It is very, very important. And share this video. If this video has been a blessing to you, share this video to your friends and family, to everybody. So take care and stay safe. I remain your girl, Dana Viaku.